mwaje? Na mimi sijui. Ama ni Mungu tu aliwaslap na upako leo. Tuliumbwa siku ya kwanza. Wow, while well, I was being created on sijui what day. Okay, that's fine. My name is Valentine Art Color Me Vanya watch your favorite show that is the Bounce 254 and our hashtag is Bounce Nation. So one very very handsome rasta and then three also very very handsome guests so <laughs> so far in total since the before uniform let me just learn today so one plus three is c13 uniform okay yeah sorry <laughs> hi guys Thanks Can I be very honest with you? When when I saw you and I said hi in the beginning, I, I could not really place a finger. But my very able director, shout out Hamstone, reminded me that we had a Zoom interview. Yeah, First of all, Mkika Hamkai Waref with Jesus. Hey! You're big guys, you you're very, very big, number one, and you look even better in real life. Welcome Thank West Bangani. And you sang for me, didn't you? I remember being sung. Are you going to sing for me again? Yeah, sure, sure. Sure okay, okay, please introduce yourself. Um, my name is Creepy G, mm -hmm. from Sandy, mm -hmm. and my real name is Alan Miles. Mm -hmm. I come from Pongani, really rip that hood, man. Uh -huh. yeah, sure thing. Are you? Yeah, yeah my name is Jazz Vishan. Uh -huh. Yeah, aka okay, Mandy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm the nigga that, you know. <laughs> you look like you have a story to tell me. Hi, sir. So I am Daniel Lemayan, uh -huh. so my aka Danny Lemo. Uh huh. Yeah, and from Pangani also. Oh, for more of West Pangani, please keep it channel Y254. Mm hmm. Hashtag Bounce Nation. And uh, shout out DZJ in Germany, by the way. I appreciate you so much, brother. And uh, we're going to be doing a tour in Germany, Freiburg. And uh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait to start that tour in September, hopefully. Like, talk to the promoters, yo, Tosh, you better make this happen, you know? I know you're watching. You better make this happen, you know? I'm guessing you will. So yeah, like, I just want to shout out the team. Mm -hmm. You said English is your first language. What other languages do you know? Swahili. And? I don't know, only those. You those are the only things I see. I, then you said Germany, so I thought you were going to drop some German. Words. Nah, no, I can't even say I can speak it, but like, <laughs> yeah, I have friends there, but like, it's just I can understand a few things. Because we actually have a feature with the German band. Wow. Yeah, so two features actually. And we have a feature in the album with a Spanish song, with a Spanish chick actually. So in the album, the second album, funny thing is that we didn't do too much of African, so we did like Europe. It's not only that because we want to sell it there, but it's also because we want to sell it to the people here, Kilimani, Pangani, Kilileshua, you know, hmm. just a few places. Not that we're discriminating the other places, but you see, English is national language in Kenya, so everybody understands it, despite the fact that you come from Madaria or Kibera, you know, it doesn't matter. We're not bougie just because we speak English, you know. That's what I'm trying to say to every every Kenyan out there, mm -hmm. you know. Because 47 million, we are the only country like who can say that English is a national language and we can speak comfortably, you know. In class, a two-year-old kid can speak English, you know. So it's not about singing hip-hop and being bougie, the way people are bashing calligraph. Shout out calligraph, by the way, man. My respect. Mm -hmm. Shout out Prezo also, man. Thank you so much for holding me down, you know. So some people like those paved the way to make sure that when you put out an English song, people are not going to be like, that's not going to pop, you know? It's always going to pop, you know? Because we popped during Corona and everyone was like, who's funding you? How do you put out the music? And I was like, it's not about that. It's not about what's your plan, mm -hmm. you know? Because we've, like, we've shot all the videos in our second album. Those are nine songs, you know? And we were like, if you have a plan, I mean, like, hard work always beats talent, you know? If you work hard, and even if you don't have talent, there are people who can't even like sing properly but you see they have a good work ethic you know mm -hmm. and they're always pushing through because you have a talent but you're not using it you know you just always like i can sing better you know i mean like we know that but if you're not working <laughs> it's not gonna pop you know because right now we i posted a video remember i was singing in a closet we got like six thousand views on twitter and i was like whoa okay and people didn't know that the first album was produced in a in a closet because people are like this music is great and then we, we leveled up. Now we, own, we have our own studio. And people mm. can notice the difference because it's not about the equipment you have. It's about your mind. How focused are you? Mm. People are like, why are you putting out two albums and a mixtape in a year? That's like 35 songs. And we were like, we write every day. We record every day because we have a studio. We have everything at our disposal. We work for it, you know? And we want to be able to like, because you see Gengeton right now is so everywhere in the air, you know? 
So for us to pop, it's got to be hard work. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else. Mm -hmm. Even when I'm sick, like, you got to work hard. Nothing else. Everything else is going to pop when you work hard, you know. It's going to be hard to ignore hard work, you know. And I'm motivated. I mean, I'm motivated. I don't ask him to do it. I work too hard. <laughs> I'll sleep later. <laughs> In conclusion, um, what is the best thing for you about West Pangani? Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, the best thing, because I'm um, sorry, the best thing could be like the the work ethic that we do. We do really have. It's like it's like good giving. As in, if you look at the duration during 2020, the time we started producing our own songs and everything, it has been like at God's speed till the, till now. You feel me? So I would like I like to acknowledge that God, God is the one who's going to make this thing work. Every time, anything that you really want to wish, everything is by with God. As in, it sana. You feel? So you let me talk to you. Maybe someone came and gave you our music. It's good, man. This is easy. Yeah. Is it your man of few words, or are you just like dropping heavy things once, bah, and then just walk away? <laughs> is that it? And I, I don't talk too much, but mm -hmm. I can give you words mm -hmm. that you can think about. Okay. Yeah. Are you thinking? Oh, do you need more? <laughs> Hashtag is about nation. What would you like to tell the nation as we conclude it? Um, what you spangani? Um, we'll be like dropping our of our, our next our next um, music, uh, music video on YouTube. West Pangani Vivo on February 1st. The, that, that's the premiere of Suit 16 by West Pangani. Yeah, mm. thank you. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's going to be late. I it's really going be feel. It's going to be late. Sure. Tell us something. Yeah. I just want to I just want to appreciate all the people who've been streaming our music. Like, I can't say too much, but I just want to say thank you to all the views. We got like 40,000 views. I want to appreciate every single one of you because every time people comment, I always comment back. Even if you say something negative, I respect your opinion, you know, because the album is a polarized album. You can like some songs, you can hate some songs, you know. That's the whole point of music, you know. It's supposed to give you some type of feeling, you know. It's supposed to like, like and hate some, you know. That's why we feel like we just like appreciate every single one of you, you know. And just watch out for February 1st, March 29th, August 10th, December. We got tours. We love our y'all, you know. And tune in Y24 and follow us on Instagram, you know. What I'm saying. And follow us back. Yeah. And lastly, since they've already said enough, uh, buy the album. You can DM us. Uh, we can send it via email. Yeah, so via WhatsApp, like you can buy the album, like a hard copy, soft copy. So. For all, of, for all of those people who are listening to our music, who like our music, so because there's some, I understand that I personally do not like every music li that I listen to, but I understand that people might like my music, might not. So those who might That's can smart. buy an album. So yeah. <laughs> how do we get there? How if we cannot get the hard copy? How do we get the soft copy? You can get it through the website. you can get it through the website. website. So we have integrated PayPal and Ruti. So if you're buying it from abroad, you can now buy it. We also have physical copies in France and uh, Germany. And uh, th those ones are supposed to be distributed all through like Europe. There are a few countries that people stream. We only picked those two because those are the countries that we had a lot of sales. So we only focused on them. So because the others are still developing, we still only have like a thousand, a thousand views, you know. So not many orders, you know. So, but if you're in Kenya, you can order it through the website. You can come to Pangani. Pangani, we have a distribution point at Coffee Point. It's a spot in Pangani, very dope spot. You can come there, you can buy a copy, you can uh, go there to Pangani Milk, like every shop in Pangani, you can just go there and ask for West Pangani copies, hard copies of the album, you're going to be served. You guys are supposed to sing for me, but I think I've spent too much time here. <laughs> I think we got to leave, sure. we got to go. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. Have you given us socials? Yeah, you can follow us on Instagram, West Pangani, and also on Twitter, West Pangani. Check out our YouTube, West Pangani Vivo, with the V-E-V-O. And then also check us out, like, everyone, man. You can check out our producer, Big Dog Entertainment, uh, Diesel J on Instagram. Show some love, man. Like, appreciate Kenya love, you know? Hashtag is Boss Nation. Peace. Ngujari Buto accent. It's ancestors telling us, just try.